Shalom. I am Rabbi Nathan David Abich, speaking to you on behalf of the webyeshiva.org. I'm going to speak about this week's Torah reading, which is Parsha Yitro. And this particular Torah reading has in it the Aserat Hadibrot, uh, commonly referred to as the Ten Commandments, uh, but they're really more than Ten Commandments and many that happened before this. So really it's the Ten Sayings which are commandments. I'm going to talk about why this particular Torah reading, which contains some of the essential aspects of being a Jew, has the name of Moshe's father-in-law, Yitro, Jethro. And what we learn from the first commandment, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, Asher Asayseichem Eretz Mishraim, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. What we learn from that about how we need to have emuna, belief in God. So the Torah portion opens with an interesting uh, story about uh, Yitro. It says, Yitro heard all that happened to the Jewish people after they left Egypt. And then he came to Moshe and actually converted and became a Jew. What was it that caused that? First of all, we have to see what was it he heard. So Rashi, the great commentator on the very first sentence of a Yishma Yitro, he says, what did he hear? He heard about the splitting of the Red Sea, of the Reed Sea. It's not the Red Sea, it's the Reed Sea. And he heard about the war with Amalek. And then he came to Moshe and he said, I knew about the belief in God, but I never understood it until now. What made those things and what happened after that bring him to have a complete emuna, complete belief in God, and to become a Jew? And what do we learn from that as to how we as Jews have to relate to God and relate to emuna? When Yithro came to Moshe, he said, I knew about this. I knew about the oneness of God, how God made the world. I knew about that before. What does that mean? So you got to look at the history of who Jethro was. Who was Yithro? He was the high priest of idol worship. Uh, he, everybody, everybody would look to him for uh, as the high priest and he realized that all this idol worship was was worthless it was meaningless that there's a God in the world so what did he do he told his people he said look I'm too old to carry on as your uh, the chief priest of idol worship. Get somebody else. That was his start of his returning. And then he said, I heard, I heard about the, the miracles at the splitting of the sea. And then I saw the fight with Amalek. And I was asking myself, how is it that at the, at the sea, the wonders that were revealed by God to the Jewish people and to the world were wonders that nobody had ever seen before? Uh, the sages tell us that even the, the lowest handmaiden saw revelations that Chizkiyahu uh, Anobi, the, 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 the prophet, 
didn't even see. And then it says, the people believed in God and in Moses' his servant. So he said, and the way the Meforshim interpret this, and the Tebow Chalm specifically, talks about there are several ways in which people try to increase and improve in their amuna and their belief and faith in God. He said, if you see miracles, you see miracles happen, uh, you see unbelievable things taking place, uh, you will feel that, yeah, okay, there's, there's a God, there's a God behind this. But Yusuf says that's not enough. And Atibu Shalom points out that's not enough. Why? Because after this great revelations, after seeing the miracles, what happened? Amalek attacked the Jewish people because they were weak in their faith. How could they be weak in their faith after seeing all these miracles? And the the Tibo Shalom points out that it is one thing to see a miracle and absorb it, but we have a tendency to sort of forget about that miracle. Like, yeah, God, what have you done for us today? So he says, we learned, it wasn't until I saw this, what the first commandment was. The first commandment of the Aserat Adibra, not the first commandment of the Torah, the first of these ten sayings, is, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am the Lord your God, Asher Otsaisicha Meretz Mitzrayim Yibay Savarim, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. And this statement, this commandment, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am the Lord your God, is the commandment of Emuna. In other words, God is commanding us to have faith and belief in God, not because of miracles, not because of anything that we might have heard about or anything we might know. Those are things that we could forget, but because God Himself is commanding to have faith. Emuna Pshuta, plain faith. And that is true not only with a general belief in God, but a belief in anything that we do. We're doing it when, when we, we do things that are commanded in the Torah. Maybe they make sense. You know, things like uh, don't steal, don't rob, uh, don't commit adultery, don't kill. They make sense. And, and most logical people would understand that you really shouldn't do those things because if you do them, it'll happen to you. That's not the reason that a Jew has to observe that commandment. It's not because it makes sense to not, to not do that, because if we take it to that standpoint, if we take it to the sense of, does it make sense, we see in our own time how the mores of society have changed, the morals of society have changed. That which was prohibited 20, 30 years ago is now permitted and encouraged. Uh, those things that were uh, perhaps uh, considered murder years ago are now within the realm of that's okay. The Torah tells us differently. When we do a mitzvah, when a Jew does a mitzvah, he has to do it out of a total belief in God, a belief that I am doing this not because it makes sense, not because I've seen the miracles, but because I know that God has spoken to me personally and has told me to have this amuna, this faith in God. That's what Yitro saw. Yitro understood then that the only way to really have amuna in God was not to just look at all these wondrous things that happened and then from that have faith in God, but rather to come close to Moses, to join the Jewish people where we could have a muna pshuta, simple amuna, simple faith in God, not for any logical reason, but because God commanded it. I thank you for listening on behalf of webyeshiva.org. I wish all of us the ability to develop 
this concept of Amuna Pashuta, simple belief in God, because God commanded it. Thank you for listening on Habit Web Yeshiva and have a wonderful Shabbat.